Hey guys, in this video, we are going to learn a new topic, which is UiPath apps drop down. How to use a drop down? There are multiple properties in a drop down box. For example, list source, column, value binding. How do you define these properties in UiPath apps? And how do you get the final output? Everything in detail we are going to learn in this video. So without making any delay, let's get started. All right, first of all, let's have a preview of this particular app, how it works. For example, it is asking me select your brand. I am going to select any brand. You can see the drop down list is populated. Let's say I'm going to select Mercedes Benz and then select color. Let's say I'm going to select the black, right? So you can see what was selected by the user through value binding. I'm getting this value in a different text box and how this drop down is working. Everything in detail we are going to see. So why delay? Let's get started. The very first thing what I will do, uh, this drop down box is what I have. Let me first delete it. Okay, let's start from the beginning. This is a simple controller. And in this one, I am going to add a drop down box. Okay, now this drop down box can be done in multiple different ways. Okay, the list can be populated using a list variable, using a data table using an entity there are three different ways that you can do it now first of all let's change the label to i am going to say select your car select your let's say brand i will say and then i wanted to populate few uh, you know list of cars okay yeah. now for that how to utilize this particular property we have to learn simply user equals to symbol scroll down and in the functions right here you have something called list just click on it or drag and drop now once you do this this list has to be kept uh, the values have to be kept inside a uh, curly you know parenthesis so you can see i have added few car names within the double quote and parenthesis i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it after the list so this is one way by doing this, if I'm going to hit on preview, the preview is loaded. If I click on this, I can see all the list of cars which have kept the brands have appeared here. This is one way. Okay. There's also another way using the entity and the data table. I'm going to show you a little later. Now I'm going to talk about few more properties of this. For example, you would like to what is being selected you like to use that later in your project right let's say customer is selecting bmw or let's say customer is selecting toyota now whatever he has selected you want that in a variable how to get that one simple way is select a value binding and you can assign a variable you can click on the plus sign assign the variable but i am going to show you it is quite simple okay you create a variable and then say selected by user you created a variable and you are going to assign this variable though the selected by user variable will have the value for example i am going to add a text box okay and here i am going to say selected by user it's a different text box now here i want to see the value whatever is selecting it should appear here now for that i will go to the value binding and i'm going to use the selected by user here so first whatever the user selects will go to the selected by user and that variable i am showing it here for example if i run out run, uh, run a preview so the app has loaded now let's say i'm going to select bmw you can see the bmw value has appeared there is also another smart trick what is that smart trick i'm going to show you so i'm not going to use this in the first drop down i'm not using this now in this text box still i can get it you know how yes there is a trick so here this this is a simple text box i'm not going to use any variable i'm going to click on this value binding and then here we know that this drop down has been used in the page right so i'll go expand this page and i look for the drop down or you can simply type it here okay 
whatever name you have given to that control. So I have selected drop down. All I will do this drop down, I am going to drag and drop it here. Drop down dot selected value. Even this is going to work. For example, if I hit on preview, now the app has loaded. I am going to click, let's say, Toyota. You can see the value has come. So, this is another trick that you have learned. Now, let me show you how to populate. Let's say I don't want to use a list, I would like to use a data table or an entity. Okay, how to do that? I am going to show you. Now, for this, first of all, let me clear this. And you know how to create an entity, right? All you have to do is quite simple. Entity is nothing but more like a table. So you are going to this three dots in orchestrator and click on data service. Okay. And here you have to click on create new entity, give it a name. For example, I have given a name called cars. Once that is created, you will get like this. Click on this hyperlink. And here there is something called create new field. So if you click on this create new field, you can give some names. For example, I have created few names like car brands and colors. There are two columns I have created, car brands, like a table, okay. Car brand and colors I have created. So here you see simply give the name of the column and add and save. And how many columns you want, you do it, you repeat this step. Once that is done, now there is something called add data. So here you can see I have added multiple data. If you click on add data, it will tell you car brands. So I am going to write Honda and then color, you know, write one color, color for this, let's say red. Okay, this is actually not associated. I mean, Honda is not associated with red color. These are two different columns. I want to populate both of this. For example, a user is selecting Honda and he will have multiple options. Okay, I want to show all these colors for him. Now, how that can be done? Okay, how that can be done? Uh, I am also going to show you through an entity, using an entity. So, that is how you create an entity. Okay, quite simple one. And once you have created the entity, how do you use it in the drop down is important. First thing you click on this and then click on entity and add that specific entity here. Okay, I have already added that. So once you have added, the entity will appear here. Okay, now all you have to do, write a equals to symbol, minimize everything and go to the entity section. Here you can see the entity name. Simply drag and drop the entity here. The name of the entity, okay? Cars. So it's a table. The table name is car. So I'm putting the car. Entity means you think it's a table. It's a table, okay? So I'm putting a uh, table, car table. I have put it here. Now, the car table has got multiple different columns. It has got a car brand. It has also got a colors. So let's say I want the car brand's column name. So all I have to do, go to the UiPath apps. And in the column section, right? Click on this and expand the car section. It is going to tell you what are different columns available. Out of that, I want to use this car brands column. So just paste it here. So that way, if I am going to hit on preview, the app has loaded. Now, let's say I am going to select. Let's say I am going to select. You can see it has appeared here, Honda. Okay, whatever I am doing, it has appeared. Now it is coming from where? It is coming from the entity, not from the list. Okay. Now, let's say I want to have one more column, uh, one more drop down below this. And I'm going to say, select your color. Okay, select color. And here for the select color, I want to have the other column. Okay, the column name is colors column. Now for this, all I have to do, again in the list source, I'll put a equals to symbol. I'm going to select the car entity. And then for the column, I'm going to select the colors this time. So it is going to show the all the colors here. Getting it? So let me hit on preview. Now if you see, I can select, let's say I want BMW and I want a black car. Okay. So you can see this is how it is working. It is showing the different different options for me. Okay, so this one is achieved. Now the other thing, how to do it using a data table? How to use a data table in the UiPath app drop down? Now for that, what I have done, I have used uh, a simple process. Okay, I have created a simple process where I have created a build data table. You can read it from Excel. 
read range and all that you can do and pass the value to out underscore dt1 this is the argument out argument okay now if you click on this data table here i have simply created a single column okay color red gray white and all that i have written so this is a simple data table now this process you have to publish it in the orchestrator and create a process so i have published it in the orchestrator and i have created a simple process in the same process i have added into the orchestrator i think everybody will be knowing this how to do it uh, but again if anybody doesn't know if you watch my previous videos in the series i have already shown that so here data table uh, testing is the process name has appeared here now what i'm going to do i'll go to the page and here instead of this entity let's say i'm going to use the data table so you can see in the process there is a there is a data table out argument i'm going to simply put this out argument okay now here in the column section i should mention the um, name okay so so the name the problem here is if you see the moment i click i should be allowed to type the column name manually so i cannot type okay only i can do is i can type it in the resources box it should allow me if i am using or it should show me the column names here okay out dt1 this dt1 has got multiple columns if it shows here i can drag and drop that is something not available so what i have done i have run written a simple uh, you know feedback where i am saying hey uh, while doing this for data table no i am not finding bug with drop down control i used a data table as the out argument from the process that is added to ui path let me read it from here it will be easy uh, ui path application studio uh, to the uh, ui path application app studio uh, when using the drop down control i choose data table out argument okay app studio i choose the data table out argument from the drop down list source property uh, when i try to specify the column name the drop down column property it opens the resource pop up box and does not allow me to write the column name manually so this is a feedback i am submitting let's see if there is an, any alternative option probably in the documentation they can update and we will be able to see that or or this will be corrected okay or, or there, is, there is something other alternative options we will get to know so i am going to submit a feedback around this okay but hopefully you have learned a lot of things how to utilize a drop down in your path app studio so thank you guys for watching we are going to meet once again in our next content do not forget to hit on like and share and subscribe to the channel thank you